Um, so today I'll be talking about the narrative of the life of Frederick Douglass and the book that he wrote. So uh, the narrative of the life of Frederick Douglass was written by himself. Um, and the context is speaking of uh, his, perspective, his perspective of the negative aspect of slavery. So do a bi just do a biography of Frederick Douglass a little bit. He did teach people how to read and write um, during the time that he was free. During this time, the anti-slavery movement was picking up, and he was also involved in the women's suffrage movement. So there was a overlap of freedom that was happening because the women's suffrage movement obviously means that uh, women are gaining the right to vote. Uh, so not obviously for black women, but for white women. And this was releasing them from being silent, basically. So they were able to use their voice um, throughout the country and being able to uh, voice how they feel on selected officials. Um, so that freedom will overlap with uh, anti-slavery would obviously be the freedom of <clears throat> slaves and not being in captivity anymore. So that's how the overlap of freedom is happening. Um, Frederick Douglass will also try to educate newly <clears throat> free slaves and enslaved people as well as as he was part of the abolitionist movement. And he would have to... <clears throat> I feel like it was most important to educate the newly freed slaves because of telling them how to operate within the community and society outside of slavery. So it is said that it can be said that slavery was um, easier or that being a freed slave was easier or is harder than being uh, being enslaved because when you're sla when you're enslaved, Everything is basically granted to you. Uh, I mean, it might not be tip top shape is probably the bottom of the bottom, but they put clothes on your back. They tell you when to eat, what they're going to give you food to eat, when to work. They're going to give you housing, where to sleep, things like that. Whereas when you're in, when you're a free slave, you have to make a way on your own. And the system that is built um, during this time is not for blacks to succeed or not for blacks to be up in society. And also, it's the hatred of blacks still carried on if you're free. So a lot of times they were denied everything. And sometimes they would have to provide for themselves, their kids, and their family. So it'd be, that'd be even more tough than being enslaved. Uh, throughout the book, he talks about the Underground Railroad and how it was a very important aspect during the time of slavery. And uh, how it was an important aspect for the uh, escape of slaves as well. <clears throat> Uh, so he, so Frederick Douglass wrote this book and he shaped the book where he dictated it in a way where he would, he wanted the audience to view the illness of slavery and he wanted to end it. Whereas he could have made the, uh, the audience focus on a different perspective of slavery. So the illness of slavery. So he wanted the audience to want slavery to end. He wanted to paint a picture of slavery, whereas the audience would want the, termination of slavery which i feel as if if you know or didn't know about slavery you will want uh slavery to end because of the harmful effects mentally spiritually and physically that it had on african-american people during this time um he knew that he wanted to get through the reader the negatives of slavery and why he wanted it to end so it is a one one person perspective book and he isn't trying to he isn't trying to speak for everybody that is black. Uh, he only wants people to focus on his story, his perspective and his view on slavery and how he went through it. So the audience really uh, and the reader receives one side of the story. He also he also focused on getting himself out of bondage as well throughout the book. So. Frederick Douglass is um so there's different types of uh, abolitionists and people that resist and protest. Um, he was not a Nat Turner and a John Brown. Um, you can also compare this to Dr. King, Malcolm X, nonviolence, violence, uh, things like that. Even though Nat Turner's rebellion was of spiritual means and godly means, um, it still was violent, still killed people. It still was a raid as John Brown did as well. He believe uh, Frederick does believe that there was a different type of approach to ending slavery uh, rather than killing and being radical. Uh, he believed that there was a different type of way, and that was way of resistance. An example could that be running away, which is no violence at all. 
Um, so going back to how he shaped the book, he also shaped the book into where he made uh, slaves appear as weak, sympathetic, or inferior because he wanted to get he wanted the reader to feel sympathetic for the slaves, uh, so that it will also hone down on them more to want slavery to end. So he wanted to he wanted to pick, paint a picture of slaves not as strong um, African Amer African Americans or blacks fighting against the will. He wanted to make them feel as some people that were forced into what they do, beaten and things like that, so that the audience will uh, feel sorry for them in a way. Uh, so <clears throat> I feel as if that Frederick Douglass could have given more details uh, about all that he went through to escape slavery, um, relating it to incidents in the life of a slave girl that we read uh, prior to this. It pictured, her, it pictured the girl of all her her whole life throughout slavery, the slave journey, not just the afterlife. It pictured uh, through it and how she got to freedom, whereas Frederick Dulles just gives the depiction the, the, the depiction of the afterlife. And I feel like the audience could um, relate more, not relate, but understand more of where he's coming from if they understood his full journey. The emotions that I picked, uh, that I picked up from this book were very neutral because... Um, Every emotion, each emotion fit what he was talking about. So anger when he was talking about slavery and then passion when he was talking about ending, ending it. So I feel I was pretty, pretty even killed. Um, uh, contradiction to him not mentioning his uh, full life of slavery, I feel that it was, also, it, it was also a good thing as well. Because if he did mention the escapes of slavery that he, did, that he had, it could also have been endangering other slaves or other people that are trying to escape because if he published a book and um slave masters or people that are looking for slaves slave hunters um read the book then they would know the secrets and ways that people are, that slaves are escaping and that will obviously put them in danger to be harmed or even killed for that matter so Throughout the book, um, there is a contradiction between rural versus urban enslavement. Rural being like chattel enslavement, uh, more focused on, more emphasized on working like an animal, uh, southern type. Then urban enslavement would be the opposite of rural being like more formal way of working. <clears throat> so there is a point where uh, slaves um, couldn't, so slaves couldn't learn how to read and write. And for this reason, if they learned how to read and write, then they would able that would able them that would enable themselves to learn how to resist, and they would find ways of being able to escape. Uh, if if you're educated, then you won't be blindly following what you are told. So that so the fact that slaves weren't able to read and write, they were just able. They, they couldn't do anything. They had no way of knowledge, no way of going to the right person, communication for that matter. So they were just following what they are told. Um, the difference between people in the South and Northerners um, are that when John Brown got, I mean, when um, Frederick Douglass got to the North uh, because there was no slavery, the average white person in the North would be poorer actually than the Southerner and that the ordinary person in the North would be doing better than the ordinary person in the South. Um, people are ha people either have um, n uh, nothing at all or all or everything essentially because there is no middle class to speak of. <clears throat>